Then on Sports Central, I'll be giving you guys my updated college football playoff predictions for week 13 of this 2021 college football season. And even though we're in the final week of the regular season, a lot of things are still very unpredictable. But today, I'll be giving you guys my updated predictions and where I think things stand as we head into week 13. So let's go ahead and get into it with our one through six. We got Georgia at number one. They remain at number one. And I mean, the Bulldogs are once again the best team in the nation by a huge margin. That defense is going to be tough to beat down the stretch. And I'm very interested to see if any team can beat Georgia. But after Georgia, it's a mess right now. I mean, Ohio State's my clear number two for this week, at least. I mean, the way they played against Michigan State, I mean, you can't go against the Buckeyes right now. And I've got them projected as my Big Ten champion. Um, I think Ohio State wins this weekend to Michigan, and they play off against Wisconsin um, in the Big Ten title game, but Ohio State still wins it in the end. I just think the Buckeyes right now, they've gotten hot at the best time of the year. I mean, winning against Michigan State 56-7, that offense, and quite honestly, with those receivers that they've got, Chris Olave and uh, Najigba and Garrett Wilson, I mean, that team is going to be tough to beat. I mean, any defense. I mean, Georgia's defense might be the best shot at beating Ohio State's offense right now. Uh, so I've got Ohio State at number two. Oklahoma State, I told you guys um, in the community section um, this past Saturday, keep an eye on the Cowboys. Oklahoma State is a big dark horse. That's a football team that no one is talking about right now while people are starting to catch on. But Oklahoma State is a very much, I mean, they're very much a contender for the college football playoff right now. Oklahoma State wins this weekend against Oklahoma, which I'm predicting. Um, if that happens and they win the Big 12 title game, they've got a very strong argument to get into the college football playoff. And I think Oklahoma State does if they win their next two games. So Cowboys, who would have thought? But that's that's a football team that is very much in contention to potentially get a top four position. So I've got them at number three, facing off against Ohio State. And then Cincinnati's my number four. I've got the Bearcats winning out, going 13-0. And they'll play Georgia in the college football playoff. And it's kind of tough here because right now what I've, what I've got projected is Georgia winning out, Ohio State winning out, and Oklahoma State winning out. I also have Cincinnati winning out, but... If Alabama loses to Georgia in a close game in the SEC title game, there is a very good chance that Alabama sneaks in at number four. Uh, you could potentially argue number three if Oklahoma State or any Big 12 team doesn't end up winning out. Um, and Alabama, uh, the Crimson Tide, if they do end up having two losses here uh, with a close loss to Georgia in the SEC title game, I think Alabama potentially gets, gets into the top four as well. The big question is whether or not they get in over Cincinnati. If Cincinnati wins out, and Alabama loses to Georgia in the SEC title game. Does Cincinnati, an undefeated team, get in the playoff, or Alabama two-loss team? So, I mean, it's kind of tough to predict that as well because, I mean, you never know. Uh, the committee really likes Alabama, so um, potentially they would try to keep Alabama in the playoffs even if they did lose to Georgia. But that kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, if you put Alabama back in the playoff after losing to Georgia, um, then you got a rematch of Georgia and Alabama in the college football playoff semifinal game, which makes no sense because you'd just be rematching them again. Um, but anyway, if Alabama, though, if they were to upset Georgia in the SEC championship game, all hell would break loose. I mean, it'd be insane. Um, Alabama and Georgia would be guaranteed both in the top four. I mean, if Georgia were to lose in the SEC title game, like they've got a guaranteed spot in the college football playoff anyway. Like I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we saw Alabama number one and Georgia number two. Uh, if Alabama were to upset Georgia. But, I mean, the odds of that happening, I'd say, are pretty low. I mean, Georgia is almost unbeatable, if you ask me. But Alabama, I got them at number five. And then Notre Dame at number six. Notre Dame is sneaking up there. Um, obviously, I mean, Cincinnati's kind of gotten the spotlight of the teams outside of the Power Five this season because uh, the Bearcats did beat Notre Dame back earlier in the season. So we've already kind of uh, canceled out that discussion of who is better between Cincinnati and Notre Dame. But, as of right now, I would say Notre Dame is the better team if you're looking at right now. Like if Notre Dame and Cincinnati were to play this weekend, I'd probably say Fighting Irish would win. Uh, they've improved a lot over the course of the season. But then again, Cincinnati did beat Notre Dame earlier on, so that argument is canceled out. But anyway, that said, here's what I got for my uh, Week 13 college football playoff predictions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on these, and I appreciate you guys all watching as always. Only a couple of weeks, by the way. I mean, we're coming close to this and being revealed of who's going to be in the college football playoff. So, yeah, very exciting time of the year. But I appreciate you guys all watching. As always, stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you later.